Ever grappled with the arduous task of creating personalized documents for a large group of people? It's a common challenge, whether you're sending out holiday cards to your family, preparing certificates for a group of students, or delivering unique invoices to your clients. The struggles we face are manifold. One, maintaining consistency across hundreds, even thousands of documents can seem like an uphill battle. Two, ensuring accuracy is paramount. A small error, like a misspelled name or wrong address, can create a snowball of complications. And three, managing time efficiency. Personalizing each document manually is a time-consuming task that often feels like you're running a marathon with no finish line in sight. These struggles can feel overwhelming, but what if we told you there's a way to streamline this process? A method that promises consistency, accuracy, and time efficiency. Luckily, there is a simple solution to these issues, the mail merge process in Microsoft Word. What exactly is this mail merge magic we speak of? Well, let's break it down. At its core, mail merge is a powerful tool that allows you to create a batch of personalized documents using data from a spreadsheet or database. Think of it as a bridge connecting your standard document to a data source, allowing you to pull information directly onto your page. Whether you're crafting individualized letters, certificates, labels, or even emails, mail merge can save you a significant amount of time and effort. Instead of manually entering each recipient's information, the tool does it for you, automatically filling in the relevant fields with the data you've provided. This means you can send out 100 personalized letters as easily as you can send one. It's a game changer for businesses and individuals alike, making the process of personalization streamlined and efficient. So, with Mail Merge, you can automate the tedious process of personalizing documents. Now let's delve into how to do it. The first step in the Mail Merge process is setting up your main document. This is where your standard text and placeholders for personalized content will live. Picture it as the canvas where our Mail Merge magic will happen. Let's get started, shall we? First, you'll need to open a new Word document. Navigate to the File tab, click on New, and select Blank Document. Now, it's time to write the body of your document. This could be a letter, an invitation, or even a report. The beauty of Mail Merge is that it can be used for a variety of documents. While writing, remember to leave spaces where you want to insert personalized data. Next, you'll need to set up your document for Mail Merge. Go to the Mailings tab and select Start Mail Merge. From the drop-down menu, choose the type of document you're creating. With the main document ready, we can move on to the next step, which is preparing your data source. In the second step, we will prepare the data source. Think of the data source as the secret ingredient in your mail merge recipe. It's the list of names, addresses, or any other personalized details that you want to include in your documents. In our case, we'll use Microsoft Excel to create this data source. Let's get started. Fire up Excel and create a new worksheet. This worksheet will serve as your data source. Now in the first row, you'll want to create headers for all the information you'll be merging. For instance, if you're preparing personalized letters, you might have headers like first name, last name, address, and city. Think of these headers as placeholders that Word will replace with actual data when you merge the documents. Once the headers are in place, it's time to fill in the data. Each row under the headers should represent a single recipient. So if you're preparing a batch of 50 letters, you'll have 50 rows of data, each row containing the details of one recipient. Remember, accuracy is key here. A typo in the data source will result in an error in the final document, so take your time and double-check everything. Now here's a nifty trick. If you already have this information stored somewhere else, like in a customer relationship management system, you can export that data directly into Excel. This can save you a lot of time and ensure accuracy. Once you've filled in all the data, save your Excel file. I recommend saving it in the same folder as your Word document for easy access. You can name it something like Mail Merge Data Source, but feel free to choose a name that works best for you. And there you have it. You've successfully prepared your data source. It might seem like a bit of work, but trust me, it's worth it. The time you invest in preparing your data source will pay off when you see how smoothly your mail merge process goes. Now that we have our data source ready, we can connect it to our main Word document. The third step is to connect your main document to your data source. To successfully create personalized documents with Microsoft Word, it is essential to build a bridge between your main document and your data source. This is where the magic of mail merge comes into play. The process may seem complex, but fear not. We will guide you through it step by step. Begin by opening your main document in Microsoft Word. On the toolbar, 
locate and click on the Mailings tab. From the drop-down menu that appears, select Start Mail Merge, and then Step-by-Step -step Mail Merge Wizard. This wizard is your friendly guide, walking you through the entire process of mail merge. In the wizard, you'll find several types of documents you can create. For now, let's choose Letters. Click on Next, starting document at the bottom of the wizard. Here, you have the option to use the current document, a template, or an existing document. Since we've already prepared our main document, we'll use the current document. Now, click on Next, select recipients. Here, we're going to connect our main document to the data source, which is the Excel spreadsheet we prepared earlier. Click Use an existing list and then Browse. Navigate to the location of your Excel file, select it and click Open. A new dialog box will appear, asking you to select the table that contains the information you want to include in your mail merge. Choose the appropriate table and then click OK. At this point, you can also choose to sort or filter your data, which can be extremely useful if you're dealing with a large data set or if you want to send personalized documents to a specific group of recipients. Once you have selected your data source and defined your preferences, click on Next, write your letter. Now that we have connected our document to the data source, we can begin to insert the fields. These fields are the placeholders that will be replaced with data from your Excel file during the mail merge, which we'll cover in the next step. Stay tuned. The fourth step is inserting fields and finalizing the merge. Now that we've connected our main document to the data source, we're ready to make our document truly personalized. This is where the magic of mail merge really shines. So, let's start with inserting fields. These fields are placeholders that pull information directly from our data source. In our case, it's an Excel spreadsheet. To insert a field, we go to the Insert Merge Field button on the Mailings tab. A drop-down list will appear with all the column headers from our Excel sheet. We just select the one we want, and it gets inserted into our document. Let's say we're creating a letter and we want to address our recipient by their first name. We'd place our cursor where we want the name to appear, then select first name from the drop-down list. And just like that, Word inserts a field in place of our cursor. But that's not all. We can insert as many fields as we want, wherever we want. If we want to include the recipient's city or their purchase history, we can. All we have to do is select the appropriate field. Now, on to the final step, finalizing the merge. This is where we transform our singular document into a batch of personalized ones. We click on Finish and Merge on the Mailings tab. We then have a few options. We can either edit individual documents, print documents, or send email messages. Each option will create a new document for every row in our data source, with the fields replaced by the corresponding data. We'll select Edit Individual Documents. A new window pops up asking us which records we want to merge. We'll select All, and Word creates a new document with a personalized letter for each person in our Excel sheet. And there you have it, a batch of personalized documents created quickly and easily. Just imagine the time you'll save and the impression you'll make with this mail merge magic. Now isn't that a game changer? So, to recap our journey into mail merge magic, we began by understanding the concept of mail merge, a powerful tool that marries data and text to create personalized documents. We then moved on to preparing our main document, the template that provides the structure and static content of our final output. Next, we dove into preparing our data source, the engine that fuels the personalization of each document. We explored different data source options, from Excel spreadsheets to Outlook contact lists, and learned how to format them for a smooth merge. Following this, we connected the main document to the data source, establishing a link that allows Word to pull relevant information for each personalized document. Finally, we inserted fields into our main document and finalized the merge, bringing our personalized documents to life. With these steps, you can transform the daunting task of creating personalized documents into a simple, streamlined process. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks.